Hello and welcome to Mimo Live TV. In this video, I will show you how to set up the basics of a Mimo Live document. Mimo Live is the successor to Boinks TV, and if you want to take part in the Mimo Live beta, go to the Mimo Live beta sign up page. Just enter your name and email address, and you will be sent a download link and a beta license right away. So let's jump right in and Let's have a look. So if you start Mimo Live, this is the window you're going to see. And there are a couple of questions you want to answer yourself. The first thing is what template to choose. If you have not set up a template beforehand, just don't worry about it, go with blank. The next thing is dimensions. So these depend on a couple of factors. Is your camera a 16 by 9 cameras? I would say 99% of all cameras are nowadays. So then you probably want to go with a 16 by 9 um, aspect ratio, unless you need it for something specific that requires, for example, 4x3 or some, something exotic. So in my case, I have a 16x9 camera, but maybe I want to go full HD 1920x1080. Don't worry, Mimo Live supports 64 bits, so you won't run into any memory issues. So the next thing you want to uh, think about is what frame rate to choose. There are a lot of frame rates and there is a simple rule of thumb. If you're in Europe, you want to go 25 or 50 frames. If you're in the US, you want to go 30 or 60 frames because that's how cameras work and how the AC current works in those countries. Um, so in my case, I'm here in Europe, so I'm going for 25 frames per second. And now I just click create new document. Mimo Life sets up a new document. Let's just maximize this window for a second. And here I am, big brother, I'm watching you. And um, just in case, we did something wrong. We want to change something. Not a problem at all. There is a clapperboard at the very top. I just click it and I get a window with all the settings um, that I could just set up before and even more. So for example, I want to change my resolution back to 1280 by 720. I can do that. You will see the changes will reflect the document right away. I can also change the frame rate if I want to go for a 50, for example. You can do the same with the audio sampling rate if you need a different one. You can also set up start and end offsets. These are important for triggers. I will talk about them a little later um, in a later video. So you can set anything up if you want to have a, some, a post runtime, for example, of five seconds, you can just set up an end offset. The last important thing are the metadata um, fields. So for example, the title. So this is my great intro show. So this is the title of this specific video. My show is called Mimo Live TV and I'm the author and I can also add a fancy description. All these values will find their way into the metadata of the actual recording, including the name. You can set up um, how the name looks um, using this metadata. I will tell you this in a, a separate video. So once you have set up everything, where you can go on and I will cover that in the next video. We will show you how to work with sources, how to work with layers and what all the new fancy buttons are in Mimo Life. So if you want to uh, get into the beta program, just go to the beta sign up page and enter your credentials and we will send you um, all the necessary info to take part. And if you find anything, if you have questions, just email us, find us in the forums and we will be happy to get back to you. Thank you very much and see you next time.